Fiber.js is a JavaScript file that comes pre-packed with browser hijackers or other unwanted programs. The file itself isn't harmful, but it indicates that your computer is infected. There are two things you need to do to remove the malicious software. First, we're going to go into the control panel and remove the installed program and anything else that may seem suspicious. In some cases, there might not be an installed program, but if we don't do this first, don't be surprised if it keeps on coming back. If you don't know how to do this, just open control panel. Click uninstall or change program. Then click here on the dates to arrange the programs. Look at the most recent ones. Since the adware was recently added, it should be here. But I gotta warn you, viruses have gotten smarter with time. So now you may even encounter some that provide a backdate or are installed under different names. So definitely look around and uninstall everything you don't remember adding. Now you need to enter safe mode. Every version of Windows has a slightly different way of entering safe mode. So if you don't know how to do it, or you're not feeling comfortable doing it on your own, there's a link below with a detailed guide that I've prepared. We'll fast forward this part for you. First things first, let's open the key register. You do this by typing into the search field, regedit. If you're not feeling comfortable, don't worry. You can't really mess things up here. Just follow what I'm about to do and you'll be fine. It's all a matter of finding the right registry key to edit. Click on current user, software, Microsoft, Internet Explorer, Main, and here it is. Delete the start page key. And you're done. For Google and Firefox, things are even easier. For Firefox, open the browser. Make sure you've selected the menu bar by right clicking on the very top. On the history drop down, click on clear recent history. Choose everything. Make sure you've checked all the boxes available. Now we'll reset the browser. Choose troubleshooting information and refresh browser. Finish. And we're done. Just get rid of this. Now for Chrome. Open the application, doesn't matter from where. Under the menu button, click on settings, then history and clear browser data. If you don't want to delete all your history and you know approximately when you caught the adware, feel free to delete to a specific period of time. Simply check all the boxes except passwords and then clear browser data. Now we can move on to resetting the browser. Back to settings and all the way down to the bottom. Click reset settings. We want to make sure there aren't any leftovers in our browser extensions. So we'll start off with Firefox. Back to the menu icon and down to add-ons. From here, we'll be looking for any extensions that may be causing our problems. So just have a look around and delete everything that looks suspicious. Once Firefox is restarted and we've made sure there's no miscellaneous extensions, we can move on to Chrome. From the menu button into settings, Click over extensions and again, we're, we're looking for anything suspicious that we need to delete. Click remove and we're done. 
All we have to do now is restart the computer and make sure that we got rid of the adware. If this video was helpful, please press the like button or you can subscribe to our channel. And if say you still had trouble, write to us on our Google Plus profile and we'll assist you with any problems. We've prepared for you a short and sweet optimization guide specifically designed for users who have just removed a virus. It's completely free and you don't need to download anything. If you're interested, you can check us out here.